Hello. How are you? I'm great. I'm tremendously doing amazing. Very good. Very good. My name is Marissa. I'll be your tutor today. That's amazing. Very good. Is your name Naveen? Exactly. Yeah. All right, Naveen. What would you like to do today? Uh, first, we have a short introduction. Yeah, of course. Would you like me to go first? Yes, absolutely. Please, you go first, Miss. Okay. My name is Marissa. Like I said, I am 24 years old. Uh, I am from the United States, New York, but I currently live in the Dominican Republic. Um. Yes, I it is in been a here for about South America, the Dominican Republic, am I right? Yeah, it's somewhere in the Caribbean. Caribbean Sea, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um let's see. I am here with my family. What else? I grew up in a big family, so I have um eleven brothers and sisters in total. So these um, are you are a Brothers and sisters, or these are your cousins? No, my brothers and sisters. Oh, that's totally amazing. That's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in my free time, I enjoy to draw. I like to listen to music. And I like to watch movies. Um... I'm not really picky with anything, so movies, TV shows, something, and that's, that's pretty much it. That's all. Okay. So. What about you? So it's my turn. So as you know, my name um, and uh, Navin and uh, about uh, basically I'm a student. Uh, I am 18 year old and about uh, my hobbies, my downtime. I like to bring out in nature most of time and uh, I'm an uh, avid reader that's in a nutshell about me. Very cool, very cool. Where did you say you were from? Uh, I'm from uh, New Delhi in India. New Delhi, India. Very cool. Very cool. This is my, I think my second time having a student from India. But that's it. I don't get many people from India. That's amazing. My privilege to talk with you. Yeah. That's my Hana. Your Hana? Uh, I'm saying that's my privilege to talk to you. I'm your second student. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's super cool. Well, it's pleasure's all mine, sir. <laughs> well, so what would, you, what would you like to do for the class? Would you like to do a lesson or would you like to free talk? Uh, you know, I have prepared some questions for you and uh, I would like to ask you. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So I want to know first, uh, uh, if, you, if any person asks you, like, how did you describe your personality? Like, please describe your personality in a less word, in a nutshell. Okay. My, my personality, uh, I would say bubbly. Probably. And hmm, what else? Bubbly, talkative. Talkative. And hmm, laughs a lot. I laugh a lot. Laugh a lot. Yes. Yes. Um. What else? Mm-hmm. Outgoing, I okay. would say, for the most part. Uh, or can you please? I don't know. I think that's pretty much it. Can you please uh, dashy for Alberta like outgoing? Outgoing just means I like to do stuff. Like I like to go out, hang out with friends. I like to to just do anything. Gotcha. Whether it's going on a trip or 
you we just like to go on a hike or something. You just like doing stuff. You're very somewhat active. Okay. So it's my turn to describe my personality. Uh Okay, go ahead. Yeah. I'm an open-minded person. If I like from anything anywhere, I take and incorporate in my life. Mhm. Okay. Yeah. Good. And uh, for me more than speaking uh, i believe that listening is important i when i am talking with any person i am just all my ears to that person i pay every attention to his single word what he is saying mhm yeah it's really good yeah and uh, i'm a kind of simple guy uh, i don't like to be much fashionable i like to wear uh, neat and clean td like uh, appearance like my clo- uh, clothes but uh, not like uh, much fashionable to impress anybody that's in a nutshell about mm-hmm. my personality yeah very good those are good qualities navin very good qualities <laughs> thank you you're welcome yeah. you're welcome so why why are you learning english what i am learning english my heart uh, my intuition loves to blossom when i'm learning english very cool yeah nice i'm not feeling like i'm learning i'm feeling like uh, i'm enjoying simultaneously and uh, i'm gaining a uh, uh, worldwide pr- perspective i'm not longer a, yeah. like a, a, a people from a one country like india i um, can travel virtually and were adventurous in any country like usa anywhere like if i'm talking to you i'm just in usa yeah okay very cool well I'm glad you were able to to practice i guess english <laughs> if you do it to make you happy so exactly good. yeah um is there any other questions you wanted to ask specifically or yeah is sure. that it Sure. What kinds of people do you get along well with? Um obviously I think like the foremost is people who are kind. Um they're considerate. Um and they're good listeners. You know, and someone who's not too arrogant or or whiny, I guess you can say, like someone who complains a lot. Can you please uh, uh, write it down this word a whining? Whining, yes. Whining. Miss, you know, I would like to tell you if I do any mistake then please proactively correct me. Yeah, of course. Whining. Whining. Yeah. Just someone who just complains a lot. They're just about every little thing. It kind of gets annoying. Um and it's not good it's not a good quality to have exactly. so um yeah i don't know as long as you're nice you you like to talk you're open you're considerate you know just a good person then i i usually do a good i'm pretty good with getting along with everyone but yeah i've noticed if it's someone who, who someone who said those that has those qualities that i was just mentioning mhm i don't know then i i don't really get along very well but yeah i don't know yeah uh, about me i like to uh, hang out with those person um, who are not like much talkative like uh, i don't like they talk talk and talk talk and talk i just want to uh, like a uh, uh, peace person like a uh, serene calm person because uh, then i can also feel calm with them mm-hmm. yeah right Yeah and uh, I yeah. don't uh, want to discuss like uh, what is going on another person life you know some people when you meet them they just talking about uh, in 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 your uh, like uh, in uh, like just take example in uh, another person life what is going on they are married they have like uh, everything they are talking about outside things like outside influence I don't like to talk with them like what is going on like those type of things I would like to uh, talk on something related to like our real life our like uh, I love to talk with the I want to know like uh, what are the problems uh, he facing in his life and if I am able to 
I will try my best to help him. Mm, okay. So just more things that are realistic that you like to talk about, things that are happening in your life rather than on social media or Exactly. Totally. I don't know, other people, you know. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I get it. Okay. I can understand that. Yeah. Just to be real. Exactly. For a sec, you know. Be authentic. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. Very nice. Cool. Yeah, so uh, another person is what kind of personality traits do you hate? Do you not like? Do you dislike? Like these that I don't like. Like what type of personality um, traits? Personalities that I don't really like. Um. Honestly, I don't think there is a specific kind. Really, I think you just know when you meet those people. Like for me, at least. Like I don't, I don't like see a person. I can't just call out a person and be like, "Oh, I don't like that kind of a person." No, I just usually I know until I I don't know until I talk to them, you know, and I'm just like, "Okay, what what's your deal? Like, why why are you being like this?" You know, and I would say that kind of a person might, I don't know. I think it's similar to my last answer. Someone who's not who shows that they don't really care about what other people have to say or it's all about them i would say and not about they're not being considerate to other people so i don't know just same thing as the, my first answer i would say okay so it's my turn to answer this question so i like those mm. so i like those quality personality traits uh, which are like those person which are honest and up- upfront like if they see like uh, any wrong in me like bad in me anything wrong in me if they tell me uh, in front of me it will be much better for me then i can uh, do yeah. then i can uh, do better myself i can uh, do this like uh, what are the things i am doing wrong i can write them i can do right way mm. So I like honest yeah. and upfront, upfront like type of personality friends. Like who can, uh, like honestly can uh, talk with me. Like be authentic person, kind of type of. Mm. Yeah, honest and upfront. That's good. And that good. is good. And not many people can, uh, can take that. So it's again, it's something different that I feel like a quality that different people have. So that's really good. Um, exactly totally to take that kind of criticism you know um but yeah no i mean i think it's we all try our best to be good people you know and be a good friend so whenever we it's better to let people know that too that you're you're open like hey if i say something that's offensive or that you don't like please let me know so that way i know because that's the only way we learn right if nobody told us what we did wrong then it would be bad to just let us go on with life saying those things cuz we think it's okay but if somebody's like that's not cool then it's good for them to tell us right so yeah that's I agree. A, that's an impactable decipher of this thing yeah yeah i couldn't agree more sure. with you yeah anything else sure so for you how important is personality when you choosing a spouse presume when are you choosing a spouse so how important for you to personality mm, i think very important uh personality is is the most important thing i believe so um when i am looking i also would like to see it's important to see how well we work together and that's part of the dating process i feel or not even dating but even before dating like just trying to get to know that person well um and really see how you guys work together as friends first um and then if there's an interest in both sides romantically then mm-hmm. i believe that's when you start to date and you still get to know that person for a, a period of time and then see how well you guys do together you know you learn about this person he learns about you 
you know, all the deep things to see if you guys are meant to be, you know, if you guys can work really. Um, so yeah, personality, I think is very important. Exactly. That makes a sense. No. Yeah, for me, it, it's my turn about uh, personality also plays a very important role. You know, uh, if we want to live a harmonious life, we have to choose a perfect, better combination according to our personality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. You know, just take yeah. example. Just take example. If you are an introvert person and uh, uh, your husband is like extrovert, you will not be enjoy much. But uh, if you both are like extrovert, you will enjoy. And uh, yeah. It's it's true to an extent, okay? Because sometimes opposites attract, though. Exactly. So just because you have two, just because you have two people who might have the same kind of energy, it doesn't necessarily mean that they won't work. But like, it can work, obviously. Exactly. But, uh, especially if they're opposite. If one's an extrovert and one's an introvert, it, I don't think it really matters. For it might. So that's okay. You know, for some people it might matter, but I think you, it can work. If people really wanted to, you can figure things out. It's not so bad. Yeah. So I feel exactly. like any couple. Yeah. And I don't, uh, can work yeah, out. exactly. And uh, I don't believe in like, uh, if your uh, spouse is extrovert, you don't have to be become extrovert because you know, your quality is introvert. So be what you are like, then you will have a, a, a harmless, harmonious and authentic life you will live both of them you, exactly you just gotta try your best because marriage is marriage is not supposed to be easy it's a it's a hard thing as a couple you have to work through obstacles and things in life together and that's what makes your marriage strong so yeah, yeah i don't think that's what a lot of people don't realize you know they a lot of people think like oh well, you can just leave him in the end if things don't work out. You guys can just get a divorce. But no, that's not how it works. <laughs> Marriage is not supposed to be meant to divorce. Like you, obviously, if things happen where it's appropriate to, then yes. But for the most part, when you choose a person to to marry, you're so you you said you be with that person for for until forever. You know. So you have to, you try your best to make it work because it's not supposed to be easy. But mm. um, if you make it work and if a couple works hard together, then you can have a successful marriage. Exactly. You hit the nail on the head. Yeah, exactly. So I definitely so, believe in <laughs> You know, things. I want to know about uh, like, uh, what about condition of like in marriages in USA? Like uh, if like some people marry, they like leave a, they will uh, longer live in a relationship or they will get like divorce after some time like most of like averagely what is the uh it depends i think it's kind of like half and half um there are people who obviously they have long marriages they live they've been together for many years until old age or sometimes until death um and then there's some people who who haven't been together very long and might something might happen and they might get a divorce or something um so it just depends on the person i feel like it mm-hmm. it just depends there's no specific number to give okay. um but yeah it, it happens there's people it who happens. divorce for silly things there's people who stay together or maybe something happened and they choose not to to get back to that person so it, it happens it just happens i don't that's all I can give you is things exactly. happen. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a good elaboration. No. What about in, in India? I know the marriage arrangements and there's, it's very different. Exactly. Different. Like, uh, most of part in India, there are uh, arranged marriages. Mm, okay. Yeah. And so uh, what do most people feel about that? What How about do you guys it? feel mm. about that? You know, nowadays is going uh, most of youngsters to love marriage. They are turning to love marriage. Mm-hmm. Like uh, okay. Western culture. Mm-hmm. They are inculcating okay. 
they they are implementing western culture and uh, they they want to live their life in their own way they don't uh, want to choose their life spouse or partner with the, the like arranged marriage with the uh, parents or something else okay interesting yeah that's a whole different kind of culture and and customs that i am not used to so it's it's interesting to see how it is in different countries so mm-hmm. um, so in the usa also like uh, sometimes there is arranged marriage or most of time always like love marriage go on uh, i i've never heard it's not very common for arranged marriages in the us for americans um some i think maybe sometimes it happens but it's not very common um uh, most of the time it's just people choose who they want to date and who they want to marry um uh, that's that's how it is here in the u well in the us um in other cultures though there are still such things as arranged marriages sometimes in asian culture um that's a deal but i don't think it's as common anymore they still do it once here and there but not not as much as i think they used to like back in the day um but in the us it is rare most of the time it's people choose who they want to be with so okay got it mm-hmm. so i have one more question is uh, your personality similar to your mother or parent like which m- most you influenced by which person do you m- most influenced by mm. Mm, most like that's a hard one i don't really know i feel like we i have like my mom's humor i feel like cuz her and i like she's got a good sense of humor and her and i like i definitely imitate her a lot like when it comes to humor and just things she says so i would say partly my mom in ways and then in other ways maybe my dad but it's like half and half i don't have just one so uh, so what are the I things uh, so what are the things you say like uh, fr- from you tell me about your mother like which, what are the things uh, you have inculcated from your mother you get from your mother and what are the things like uh, do you do you notice what you get from your father like in inheritance in inheritance in from my dad yeah yeah i get i feel like his socialness i like he likes to talk to people he likes to talk to anyone it can be a stranger he'll start up a conversation and he just <laughs> loves to talk to people and he's very good with conversation and and like engaging in conversation um <laughs> and he just loves talking to anyone who lets him you know he'll have a conversation um and i feel like i get that from him i'm i'm very i'm a sociable person now i wouldn't i'm not, i don't always start conversation with strangers like out in public not, sometimes i do depending on the situation but not all the time like he does so but i still get that that trait from him i think is being very social and talkative with people and i'm like that that's so. going to be help in your uh, tutor career so much as far as i'm concerned right right that's that's a good good, good duo <laughs> <laughs> because we have to yeah. talk with like strangers people from all around the world for sure exactly and if you have like yeah. a, a good a, a amicable like behavior of like, just like your father then you will uh, mm. uh, talk with the students and they can understand you much better and uh, you will be get a good feedback from them i agree i agree <laughs> 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 all right navin well that's all the time we have today sir but it was so nice to meet you thank you for um, coming to my class and um i wish you the best stay sure. healthy take can, care okay uh, may i ask you last question please miss Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So, what is the best advice you ever got in your life? The best advice I ever got in my life. Um Oh man. is to stay true to myself. Mhm. And to know that I'm not alone. Okay. I have people who love me. 
and care for me even when I don't think I do. Because I, I deal with negative thoughts a lot in my own head. So sometimes I can get discouraged uh -huh. from like little things. Yeah. So just knowing that people tell me they're like, you know, you're loved. You have people by your side. So it's okay. I think and just be just be yourself. Don't try to be anybody else but yourself. So exactly. I think that was the most touching things I've gotten. So yeah. 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 So in last I would like to say a quote to you. Mm. Yeah. Go ahead. You don't have to see the whole staircase. You just have to take the first step. Yes, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> By Martin Luther King from America. Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you for that. <laughs> Good reminder. Yeah. All right, Naveen, you take care, okay? Sure, Ms. And in, uh, to be honest, uh, I really enjoyed this whole session and I have gained plethora of knowledge about personality. Like, uh, if I have to give uh, another time interview something, I will be full of uh, yeah. confidence just because of you. Oh, thanks. Thank you. I'm, had, I'm happy I could help and we can discuss that. I enjoyed learning about you too. Yeah. And in future, I will do ton of reservation for you. Sounds good. <laughs> well, have Take a, care, man. Take yeah, care. Thank, well, have a wonderful day. It's full of you.